हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द मैप ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलंपियड ज्योमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल फाइंड द पैरामीटर ऑफ दिस राइट ट्रायंगल सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज हेयर फर्स्ट आई कैन जस्ट नो अबाउट वट इज द पैरामीटर ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल एंड यू नो दैट पैरामीटर बी द बाउंड्री ऑफ दिस रॉय ट्राइंगल सो वी कैन जस्ट फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ दिस बाउंड्री देन यू कैन से दैट इट इज़ द पैरामीटर ऑफ द ट्राइंगल सो हेयर यू हैव दिस आई कैन नेम्ड दिस angle at or this vertex at b so the side opposite to the b uh, is i can consider the length of the side is small b and if you have this is the uh, vertex c and the opposite side of this vertex c is 89 and we will just named this as uh, equals to small c and similarly here we have uh, vertex a and the length of the opposite side is i can name this as small a so now first i can explain uh, what is the uh, parameter p of uh, this triangle uh, so uh, you just know that the parameter p of this triangle is you just add the length of all the sides of the right triangle so here you have the triangle uh, the length is a b and c so that its parameter will be the length of all the sides of the triangle so in this form so here i can just first find um, all the length of the sides then we will add it and we get its parameter so now first i can find uh, uh, the length of all the other sides so here you see that we have the given triangle is a right triangle uh, so that we will just use here Uh, pythagoras theorem and you know that about uh, pythagoras theorem so pythagoras theorem is uh, just equals to uh, hypotenuse square equals to base square and plus perpendicular square and now first i can uh, write uh, in triangle uh, which side is the base hypotenuse and perpendicular and you know very well about this the side opposite to the uh, right angle is called the hypotenuse so uh, this side be the hypotenuse and uh, 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 the this side is called the perpendicular and the uh, other side is called and this side is called the base of this right triangle so now we can use here uh, the pythagoras theorem and you see here our hypotenuse is b so is b square and our base is a square and our perpendicular is c square and now we can put the values of uh, c because here we find Uh, the value of a and b and we have given the value of c which is 89 so now we will put the value of c here and now first i can move this a square in the right hand side and you will get b squared minus a squared equals to we have the value of c is 89 so it will becomes 89 square and after this step we will use here the nice uh, formula in the left hand side and you know that Mm, if we have a squared minus b squared it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now we use here this nice formula in the left hand side and uh, here you get b minus a times of b plus a and when we open the square of 89 then uh, it will be equals to Seven thousand nine hundred and twenty-one. So now you focus on the left hand side, and here we have two factors. These are multiplied by each other, and in the right hand side we have only one factor. So now we uh, first convert its right hand side in two. factors form so here you see that we have 7921 so it has two cases in which we get 7921 so first is we if we can multiply 7921 by 1 then you will get 
7921 and the second case is 7921 equals to 89 multiplied by 89 so here we have these two possibilities so now uh, i can just break our problem into the um, these two cases so that our first case uh, is i can write b minus a times of b plus a equals to 7921 multiplied by 1 this case and uh, here i can write b minus a times of b plus a and it is equals to 89 times of 89 so now i can solve the both of the cases and i can check that which cases is uh, accepted or which is rejected so now uh, first i can uh, equate here these values and uh, you can just write here b plus a equals to 7921 and we can take the value of b minus a equals to 1 and here i can name this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2 and similarly here uh, when you equate both of the sides then you will uh, write b minus a equals to 89 and b plus a equals to 89 so here we have i can name this as equation number three and equation number four so now uh, we can just uh, add uh, here equation number three and equation number four so when you add these two here then you see that these terms are gone and you get here two times of b equals to uh, sorry when you subtract these two equations first i can subtract here so when you subtract you can just change the sign of uh, these equations and you will just see here b these terms are gone and we can just add minus a and minus a equals to minus two times of a and here you see that these two terms are cancelled by each other and in the right hand side you get zero so here you will easily obtain the value of a is equal to zero so in this case you see that we have the value of a0 but you know that in the right triangle uh, none of the any side will be equals to 0 so uh, we will just say that the length of any right uh, any side of the triangle cannot be 0 so here it is not possible so that we will reject it this case and we can just proceed here this case only so here we can find the value of a and b uh, and now first i can add equation number one and equation number two so when you add these two here then these are gone and we have two times of b equals to 7922 so when we divide both of the sides by two then you will get the value of uh, b equals to 3961 so this is the our first value of uh, mm, the length of side b and now we find the length of uh, the side a so in order to find the length of side a we put the value of b in equation number two and you will get the value of a so it will becomes 3961 minus a equals to one so here we move uh, a to the right hand side and one to the left hand side and it will becomes 3961 minus one equals to a and now we will just simplify the terms uh, and you will easily get the value of a is 3960 so this is the value of a so now we can put uh, all the values of a b and c here so we have the value of this a e equals to 3960 so it is 3960 and the value of b is 3961 so uh, here we have we find all the values of a b and c and now we can put all the values of a b and c in this formula and you will get here 3960 plus the value of b is 3961 
and plus the value of c is 89 so after adding all these three values you will easily get the value of our parameter required parameter is 8010 units this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos